Hi there. I thought you might get a kick out of watching me create and send a hundred real physical greeting cards in under five minutes. So let's get started. I'm going to go to a tool called Picture Plus. This lets me upload by clicking Browse uh, any picture out of my uh, hard drive. In this case, I'm going to use a picture that I've already uploaded. And we're going to create a card out of this picture. Now I've clicked the picture here and then I select Create Picture Plus Card. Once I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and add a border. There are several hundred borders. And we're just going to find one that I like. Oh, that's kind of cute. There's all sorts of different things in here. Let's use that one. I'm going to zoom out a little bit, position it where I want it. And I want to add a caption to this. Okay, we're going to do that. Pick a font. Let's go Disney. And let's try dark green with this. See how that looks. Oh, I want to add 2009 to that. Preview there. Excellent. Lots of other things you can do in here. You can actually add thought bubbles, voice bubbles, all sorts of things. We're going to save that card. This now saves it to the card catalog so that we can use this card. So now what I want to do is create a campaign. A campaign is simply one card that we send to a bunch of different people. So we're going to call this, oh, let's call this Xmas 2009 Wish. There we go. Create a return address, make it uh, whatever it needs to be. I'm going to create a card for this campaign. This is going to take me to the card catalog where really there are over 15,000 greeting cards to choose from, including hundreds of Christmas and holiday cards. However, I'm going to go down here to My Cards and find the card that we just created. And here it is. So that looks very nice. We can create a postcard, greeting card, or three panel card. I'm going to do a regular greeting card. Now, now that I'm on the inside of this card, um, I can go ahead and create my message. And let's, let's put Merry Christmas first. Whoops. It does have a spell check, fortunately. Let's do Merry Christmas from Make-A-Wish. And we'll go ahead and center this up. Let's pick a different font first. Let's go with that one. We'll center it, make it larger, and let's make it green. Uh, but I want to match this green, so I'm going to go use that green from the front of the card. Okay, That's kind of fun. And let's do a, now a, uh, a personal message. Dear first name, we're going to correct the fonts in just a second here. We just want to wish you a great new year, and we hope it is full of fulfilled wishes. Let's change the font. I'm actually going to do this one in my handwriting. Left justify it. Make it black. Make it a little smaller. Your make a wish team. Great. That's you can also add pictures and things to your card and do whatever you like. I'm going to continue. Now I can pick a delivery date. Let's go for December 1st. I want it actually to be mailed December 1st and save that campaign. The campaign is created. Now I want to go ahead and mail it. And I've already got a list here I've picked. I've uploaded those from a spreadsheet into the system. I've got 100 people. We're going to go pick our Xmas 2009 wish campaign and say send. It's going to validate all the addresses for me, give me a chance to correct them if zip codes have changed. In fact, it'll even suggest those changes for me. And then it's going to bring up my confirmation. I'm going to say, yes, let's send these cards. And that's it. I just sent 100 cards for 93 cents each plus postage. And I didn't have to lick an envelope or stuff an envelope or lick a stamp. Isn't that fun? 